Hey, what's up guys? This is Java Puppy. I decided to make beginners tutorials on fundamentals of data structures in Java because I don't think there's very many of them out there. <laughs> and I think it can be very intimidating, overwhelming, and honestly incredibly boring to learn these concepts on your own. For the record, a data structure is something that I'm still learning myself and I believe that this subject can get extremely advanced and theoretical. I am not going to go over every detail of each type of data structure, um, but I am going to touch on what I think are most important and fundamental. Okay, so the reason why we may want to learn these techniques on data structures is because it is going to help us solve very large and complicated problems in very sophisticated ways. So having this knowledge will definitely give us a bigger scope of what we can solve and create. So in the first video, I want, just want to talk about what a data structure is. So what is a data structure? Okay, this word could be a little confusing to some people, but the way I understand it is actually pretty simple. A data structure is just organizing data in ways that allow more efficiency and functionality. In other words, a system that makes our data neat, fast, and easy to use. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to go to a library to check out a book you want to read. Uh, so you go to the library, but what you see is this one giant pile of books stacked on top of each other. So you go and ask the librarian for the book you're looking for and she just shrugs and goes, oh it's probably somewhere in the pile. Now that would be a very frustrating experience. I don't think you would want to feel like this when you're building your application. You would want to have some sort of structure, a system that makes sense, right? Like in the library, you would have wanted them to have organized the books in shelves and in alphabetical order so that your life would have been much less miserable. This is what data structure is about. We want to come up with a structure that makes sense in our program so that it is more efficient and accessible for us to use the data, especially as the data increases in size and in complexity. Now, there's many different types of data structures out there, so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We are going to go over some of the most used data structures like arrays, array lists, linked lists, stacks, queues, trees, etc. For each type of data structure, we will see that each has its own strengths and weaknesses but they will all in some ways improve efficiency and more functionality when it comes to working with data in our application. The way we will do this is to go over how each data structure works at the conceptual level, but also how they can be implemented and applied in code. In future videos, I will go over details of each type of data structure and what we can do with it. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, like the video and subscribe for future videos. Thanks.